Hi, today we'll be discussing the main differences between a diesel and a gasoline engine. Both engines are equally useful, but it simply depends on where you live, what you do, and how much you drive every year. Diesel engines are not that great in extreme cold conditions or if you drive only around town. However, diesel engines are extremely efficient compared to a gasoline engine. Fuel efficiency is around 40 to 45% compared to 25-30% in gasoline engines. Fuel consumption in diesel engines is greater than in gasoline engines because of two reasons. The first is the compression ratio, which is far bigger from 16 to 19, and because of the injection pressure. The injection pressure in diesel engines can reach 2200 bars, whereas in gasoline engines they barely reach 160 bars. The higher the compression ratio, the higher octane rating you need for your gasoline engine to run properly. Driving around town can be quite harmful for your particulate filter and it may increase wear. Not reaching the optimum operating temperature all the time may result in an increased wear for your both engines actually. It simply depends on how much you drive every year. For instance, if you drive over 20,000 miles per year, you should be getting a diesel engine. Now, what most people don't understand, that great fuel efficiency comes only when the, the engine reach the, reaches the optimum temperature. So, if you drive with the engine cold, you, have, you would have a high fuel consumption, where, whether it's a diesel or a gasoline engine. If you drive your car over 20,000 miles per year with the engine warm, so you, you would have the minimum fuel consumption, then the economy that you would make from driving that diesel engine would be worth the, the maintenance costs. If you don't know, diesel engines are much more expensive to maintain and purchase than uh, a gasoline engine. Diesel engines which come with a manual transmission are much easier to drive compared to a gasoline engine with a manual transmission. The torque that comes with, within the, gas, the diesel engine makes the car much easier to drive. If you have a diesel engine, you can start from standstill just by re easily releasing the clutch. Whereas in gasoline engines, you need to accelerate a little bit at 1500 RPM or so. I will make a separate video on how to drive a manual soon, so stay tuned for that. To be honest, in my opinion, diesel engines suck. I simply don't like it, the vibrations and noise and the engine doesn't heat up at, at all unless you drive it for at least half an hour at minus 10 degrees. Uh, I don't know, I simply don't like it. I don't like the turbo lag. It's true that nowadays gasoline engines have turbochargers as well and they have turbo lag just as turbocharged diesel engines but I simply prefer a naturally aspirated gasoline engine. It makes driving so pleasant. That's why sports cars use, still use this simple layout. A naturally aspirated engine, high compression ratio, and a huge engine. Because in terms of comfort, gasoline engines are much better compared to diesel engines. There are less vibrations and less noise. You can drive it aggressively. Diesel and sports driving don't match that well. Have you ever seen sports cars with diesel engines? Yes, you have probably seen uh, sport editions of some passenger cars which have a diesel engine such as the Golf GTD which has a 2-liter turbocharged diesel with 170 bhp but that's not quite a sports car with a diesel engine that's a passenger car with some extra power when I, what i mean by aggressively is to have a great engine response is to have a reduced turbo lag is to enjoy driving driving aggressively is completely effortless in naturally aspirated gasoline engines and downshifts 
are easier, no lag, no nothing. The engine sounds great. 4000 RPM. We had some fun. Exhaust gas temperatures in gasoline engines reach 900 degrees Celsius while in diesel engines reach 350 degrees Celsius. It's a huge difference. As long as you will find a naturally aspirated petrol engine, get one. They're close to extinction now. Most manufacturers produce only turbocharged vehicles. So as long as you can get, even if it's a second hand car, with a naturally aspirated engine, don't hesitate to get one. It's the most reliable, simple, fun to drive engine that you can ever get. It's close to extinction, so you should get one as fast as you can, actually. So we basically need to inject less fuel if we have that insane pressure in order to move the pistons. Injecting less fuel means that we ha would have a greater fuel consumption. That's why diesel engines reach 45 degree, 45 uh, percent fuel efficiency. Well, that's it for today's video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.